Hi there, this is Jeff from Advanced Web Solutions. Gonna show you quickly today how to add an interactive Google map to your website, uh, whether you're using WordPress, Wix, GoDaddy, or whatever platform of choice you're currently using. Uh, it's a pretty simple process, and without further ado, let's get started. So to show you what an interactive uh, Google map looks like, I'm just gonna use my own homepage here. This is advancedwebsolutions.ca. We're a web design, graphic design, and internet marketing company based in Airdrie, Alberta. About 20 minutes shy of Calgary, Canada, for those who might not know the location. So you'll notice in my website here, uh, when you scroll down near the bottom, you'll see there is an interactive match, which is map, pardon me, which is still live now. Uh, when you click on it, uh, you'll see the uh, hand icon, which lets you move it uh, left, right, up, and down. And you'll see it's actually interactive, so it's not just a still uh, screenshot or something like that. So you also notice you can uh, zoom out with the uh, button here, the uh, minus button. Or you can zoom back in with the uh, plus button as well. So I find this a cool feature to uh, let the usability of the website be a little bit better for customers who are trying to find your business. Or it does add a little bit more for uh, trust, uh, SEO credibility, and ways to boost your ranking in Google a little bit better just because it proves you are a legit location and you do have to be verified in Google to get one of these maps. So uh, next up, we'll show you how I went about adding this and what the process is. So first thing you want to do is find the address um, you're looking for and you have to make sure it's actually listed in Google as well. So I'm using my uh, business address here. Uh, I punched it in. It's no big secret since it's on my website anyway. Uh, you'll notice there's the option to click on the uh, red pointer here. So I'm going to click on that. And then when we're here, you'll see a bigger blown up uh, view of the map here with the option to share on the left hand side. So you're going to click on that. And then there's the option to just share a link, which you can post on, you know, social media, Facebook, Instagram, things like that. But what you want to actually click on in this case is embed a map. And then from here, you're going to copy the HTML. And this is the code we're going to put into the uh, snippet section of our website. So once we have the code, um, we're going to go to my uh, dummy site I set up here as well. So there's almost nothing on it. This is the uh, Divi theme first installed, so uh, nothing special. All I'm going to do is uh, click on this here, which is going to let me insert a row, and then it's going to let me insert a code into the website as well. So depending on what WordPress theme you're using, or if you're using another platform like uh, Weebly or Shopify or something like that, you actually need a place where you can insert the code before this is going to work as well. So keep that in mind. But in this case, this is... Uh, uh, code view for me and the code settings tab so I'm going to add the code as follows and once I do that you'll see that the interactive map is actually already there but the one thing you'll notice is it doesn't cover the whole screen yet or the container of the website I'm using so what you actually need to do is go into the code itself and adjust the size which can be found here at the bottom where it shows the width and height so right now it's uh, set at 600 pixels so I'm going to increase that to uh, 1200 to double it and once I do that, you'll see that it does fill the full section or container, and your container and size will depend on the dimensions of the platform and software you're using. But uh, just like you can do that to adjust the width, you can also adjust the height accordingly as well. So I'll set that to 350. You can set that to 750, and you'll see how it adjusts accordingly. So once you do that, you'll save on whatever platform you're using, whether it's WordPress, whether it's one of the other websites you're currently using. Uh, from there, it's ready to go once you preview it, and you'll have the same features and accessibility that I showed you earlier. Hopefully that was helpful, and uh, like or subscribe if uh, you got something useful out of this video. Thanks for watching, and if you have any other feedback of how you can add an interactive map to your website, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Tune in again soon.